we will discuss about the trend guideline. So the full form of trend is not this, which is mentioned here. So this is wrong. Full form of trend is this transparent reporting of evaluations with non randomized designs. OK, that is trend. So now trend guidelines, they are used to uh, write about the evaluations of non randomized designs like the clinical trials, which is following the non randomized trial. So for that, this. So for reporting those trials, this trend guidelines are used. OK, so now the way of writing this uh, trend guidelines like the methodology and all like uh, the introduction, background, uh, the title and all that will be same. Only there will be a difference in the reporting of the uh, like writing the methodology because here you have to follow the non randomized method. So in this you will not write anything about the randomization like how the randomization done, what is the allocation ratio. So that all information you do not have the, to write and rest of the other information will be same as that of the, uh, as that of the, uh, other, uh, as that of the randomized trial. Like, so let's see the title and abstract. So you have to write information on how unit were allocated to intervention. Like you have to mention in the title, that it is a non-randomized trial. So the word non-randomized should be there in the title. Then after that, you have to write about the abstract. So the structured abstract you have to write, okay? And also you have to include information about the target population, like the population which is studied in the, uh, in the study. So that on which the study is conducted. So that information you have to include. Then after that, you will be writing about the introduction. So in the same way, like what is a background, what is a theory or what is the hypothesis behind conducting this study and what is the objective. So in the same way as you are writing for the randomized trial. So in the same way, you have to write here for the non randomized trial. After that, in the same way, you have to write about the participants, like what is the eligibility criteria of the participants? What is the setting where the study was conducted? What is the method of recruitment? OK, and uh, like how the content was given, whether it is like intervention, which it is given, it is given as in a particular uh, like uh, in group or to a per individual participant. So how this intervention was given to the participant that you have to write. Then what is a secondary primary objective or secondary objective that you have mentioned? Then what is a primary outcome and the secondary outcome and how this outcome is assessed so that you have to mention in the here also as you have mentioned in the earlier study. Then you have to write about the sample size, like how the sample size was determined. What is the assignment method for the sample, like how the drug is or the intervention, whatever the intervention is that is assigned that is it is assigned individually or to a group or to a particular uh, community okay then uh, then you have to write about blinding so if the study is blinded then you have to write about that how this blinding was done uh, is the is it a single blinded study or it is a double blinded study then you have to write about the unit of analysis like how the analysis was, is, is done so all information about like sample size what is the assignment method and all that you will get from the statistical analysis plan so that information will be shared with you with the bios by the biostatistician or by the researcher himself if uh, uh, like uh, with the researcher himself so all that information will be provided to you you do not have to do any kind of calculations or something. You just have to articulate this particular information. Then after that, what is the statistical method which is used for doing the study? What is a program, statistical program? As it is mentioned in the randomized control trial study as per the consort checklist. So you have to mention that what is the statistical program or what is the statistical software which is used for doing the statistical analysis? Then the flow of participants. So flow of participant is uh, explained in the same way as it was explained uh, in the following the consort flow diagram only in the same way also in the same way here also you have to write about the flow of participants. OK, it's so, like the same phases enrollment assignment, then allocation, follow up and analysis. OK, then after that you have to write the recruitment dates that uh, so the recruitment dates are also mentioned in the consort trial also so you have to mention here also the recruitment dates like when the recruitment date start like when the recruitment started and when the recruitment ended and what is the uh, recruitment date for follow up 
then you have to give the baseline characteristics so as in the article which i have shown you just in that in the tabular format the baseline characteristics of the participants of the population which participated in the study is given so in the same way the baseline characteristics will be given for comparison okay and uh, then what is the baseline equivalence the statistical methods which are used to control for uh, baseline differences so all that information is given so this baseline characteristics demographic characteristics and everything that also you will get get from the that all information also you'll get from the bio statistician then after that you have to write so the like how the outcome is assessed what is the outcome how the outcome is assessed number of participants who are analyzed so all that information you have to write so that all information will be uh, or uh, will be uh, uh, like that will be mailed to you or in a discussion that will be told to you and that also information also will be shared with you by the biostatistician or the researcher then what are the adverse events which were reported so adverse events or any unintended effect which was reported in each study condition so that uh, generally you have to write about the serious adverse events which were reported in case if the serious adverse events were are non serious okay but they are they are non serious but they are very frequent so about that also you can write in case after administration of the drug if there is any kind of discomfort uh, which the patients will have generally when the uh, when uh, at the uh, when the parenterally when the parenteral injection is given to the participants so in that at that time they may have some kind of uh, discomfort so that can also be so that information can also be provided then in the discussion first thing you have to write about the interpretation so like what is the overall interpretation of the findings from the study then what is the generalizability or what is the external generalizability or you can say it as external validity or what is the future implications of the trial what is the future of the trial what does this study adds to the medical science or what breakthrough is explained here so that you have to write and then uh, then also you can in the ex, uh, in the discussion only you can write about any challenges which is faced while doing the study or what is the strength or limitation of the study so that can also be explained so this is how you can uh, write the non randomized trial using the trend checklist okay so it will be difficult for you to like to understand everything in this class and to remember all the things in this class but at least like if you will when you will remember and you will understand that how these guidelines are being applied when you will start doing or when you will start writing actually the trial the trials so like the research reports then you will understand that how you have to write these write about these observe like a write about uh, or how these uh, guidelines are being applied when you are writing about it uh writing a clinical research report okay uh, the next type of studies which we have discussed that is the observational studies like uh, one is the interventional study and other one is the observational study so observational studies they are of three types as we have discussed that is the cross sectional study cohort study and case control study okay so these studies they are depending upon the time at which these studies are conducted so these studies are divided on the basis of the time okay that is past present and future so the cross sectional study they are conducted at a definite period of time okay so that is they are conducted in a present scenario present situation then the cohort studies they are of two types that is prospective and retrospective so prospective cohort studies are the studies which in which the participants are uh recruited and then we will observe the participants for a certain period of time and then uh, we will in uh, like for two years for three years and then we will observe them that whether any variables has been changed or uh, like any risk factor or they have developed when they are exposed to a certain risk factor whether they have developed a disease or not so that is a prospective cohort study then we have retrospective cohort study so retrospective cohort studies are then in uh, we will recruit the participants and uh, we'll divide them into two group cohort means what cohort means group okay so they are divided into two group and uh, then after that uh, then after their recruitment they will be uh, like they will be analyzed and uh, like their past history will be checked 
like and it will be uh, uh, and it will be analyzed that to what risk factor the participants are uh, like uh, exposed so that they have developed a disease so that is a retrospective cohort study then same is so to similar to retrospective cohort study is the case control study so in case control study uh, also we uh, part, uh, the participants are recruited and then it is checked from from their exec the interviews are conducted and their medical history is checked to see that to what risk factors they have been subjected to so that they have developed a disease so that is known as a case control study so here the participants they are divided into two groups the participants in which the disease condition is present they are known as cases and the participant in which the disease condition is absent they are known as the control so now more about these observation more about this observation study design we'll uh, understand with the help of the examples okay so first we'll discuss about the cohort studies where the participants are selected on the basis of their exposure status so now the cohort study the study population which is currently at a disease free state means they are currently not suffering from any disease and so we will we want to see the example like we have to see the effect of smoking on the development of respiratory disease okay so now we will divide the population dividing uh, uh, depending upon the factor that the Pop the population who is smoking they are in the one group which is known as exposed group and the other group they are non smokers so they are in the other group that is known as unexposed group now we will observe these two groups the participants of these two groups for a certain period of life time like for one year for two years or for three years depending upon that what type of study it is then we will see then after some time we'll observe that we'll observe first group that is group 1 or cohort 1 which is exposed to which is a exposed group means they are smokers and then in that we will see that the major population in the smokers group they have developed the respiratory disease and very less population those who have not developed the disease okay then we will observe cohort 2 that is group 2 Uh, who is an exposed group means they are non smokers and then this group we will find the observation will make we will find that the participants who are suffering from uh, like the part, the major group or the major participants or major population is not having any disease because they are not smoking and very minor population is suffering from any respiratory disease maybe due to some other factor okay so now from this study we can make the observation that smoking can lead to a uh, certain kind of like, can lead to various type of respiratory diseases so uh, smoking can be considered as a risk factor for the development of respiratory diseases okay so in the similar way the case control studies are also joined but the grouping is uh, like a difference so in the case control group we'll try to understand with the same example like we want to see suppose for example our objective is to see the effect of smoking on respiratory disease so now here we will take the participants who are already suffering from some respiratory disease so in one group there will be cases where the outcome is present okay means they are already suffering from a respiratory disease and then there will be controls who are not suffering from where the outcome is absent means they are not suffering from any respiratory disease then after that we will interview them or we will check their medical history we will interview them that whether they are smoking or not and then from the cases the observation which we can made from group 1 that is of cases where the outcome is present that the uh, that the population which is smoking here they are not exposed to okay so they are not exposed to Uh, uh sorry uh, they those they are uh, the major population is smokers okay they are exposed to smoking and very few participants are non smokers then after that when we are observing the when we observe the second group that is the controls where the outcome is absent so in that we'll find that the major population who is non smokers and there the outcome is absent and very few population in which the outcome is present but they are non smoker maybe it is due to some other factor so now what is the observation we can make from this study that is the smoking can be considered as a risk factor for the development of respiratory disease so now the outcome which is studied the observation which is made from both the studies whether it is from both the studies whether it is a case control study or a cohort study is same 
but the stud difference is in the study design here we are recruiting the participants who are already suffering from the disease and also who are not suffering from the disease but in the cohort studies we are recruiting the participants or we are observing the population which is at currently at a disease free state but they are exposed but some population it is exposed to a particular risk factor okay so this is a case control and cohort study now the third type of study which is an observational study that is a so that is the cross sectional study okay so in cross sectional study we'll uh, discuss about the observe we'll make the out, uh, like observations are made at a certain point of time so outcomes and the exposures measured at the same time in the study participants okay participants are just selected based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria set for the study so participants they are selected on the basis of the exclusion and inclusion and exclusion criteria which is decided for the study the investigator can study the association between the two variables so now the variables which are being studied suppose for example smoking and respiratory disease so the investigator will see that what is the association between these two variables and on the basis of that the the investigator will provide the estimation of the prevalence of respiratory disease which is due to smoking or which is in the smokers like smokers means the chain smokers not the occasional ones but the chain smokers okay so now cross sectional studies the result which are obtained from the cross sectional studies are not that reliable so generally the cross sectional studies are again followed by a case control study or the cohort study so hence generally when the observational studies are done it is preferred to conduct a cohort or cross sectional studies okay understood is it clear